What's up guys and welcome back. It's back in Dubai after a long, eventful, enjoyable, tiring summer. He's finally back. I'll be staying put for the winter, no doubt. It's gonna be a couple of trips here and there, but this is home, this is home sweet home and I couldn't be happier to be back. So it was an active summer indeed. Quick roundup, where did we go? Went to Bali, a couple weeks, then headed over to Ibiza, then went to London, then Marbella, then Capri, then Saint-Tropez, then Ibiza, then London, then Ibiza again, then we went to Mallorca, then Marbella, then London, and then we're back here. So it was very good. I literally have a suitcase and that was it. And I just traveled, I went anywhere I wanted to go, doing whatever I wanted to do, having complete and utter freedom, which was an, that was an amazing feeling. And I think if you guys get the opportunity to do that, particularly those people who work online, go and do it. Just pack a suitcase, all the essentials, and go travel the world. Oh my goodness. Out of all the things I miss the most whilst I was traveling over the summer was my apartment. This is my little den, my cave, my man cave. And although I did travel to a lot of Nice places, nice hotels, nice Airbnbs. Nothing could top this view. Something about being out overlooking the water, which is very calming and relaxing. I was semi tempted to move downtown because I wanted to know what it was like to be downtown. And a lot of the places I go to in Dubai are actually located around the Burj. Oh, there's no beach there, no beach access. And to be honest with you, I feel like if I move away from here, I'm going to miss the beach. So we're staying put at least for the next 12 months. You know what else I've missed? This bad boy, making my morning coffees. I had a little bit of an obsession with going to coffee shops when I was traveling. My new drink of choice is the oat milk cappuccino. And I came back and I realized that this thing actually makes one. We put the little nozzle, this thing, into the barista gluten-free oat, fabulously foamable. <laughs> and we press cappuccino. I do like it a little bit sweet, so we have the stevia in here. I don't have a full pack because it is a bit excessive, but I'll put like half a pack in it just to give it that little bit extra. You know what else you missed? You, obviously. Obviously. I haven't seen Chris since Capri. That was a long time, that was free in July. We managed to pump out a couple of YouTube videos over the summer, but it's been quite inconsistent. You know I'm a hell of a lot more consistent when I'm in Dubai. Hey, look at that. What a foamy little bad boy that is. Don't ever need to go to a coffee shop again. This is where I now perch myself in the mornings because I've got myself a new MacBook. And come around here, Chris, you, you have to you have to see what I see. Look at that. If I'm doing work in the evening, I sit over there in the office area. But everything else in the morning, put some vibey tunes on, just crack on with work. And we have a lot of work to do. I think I kind of got all the traveling out of my system over the summer and now all I really care about is just business and making money. By the way, I don't know if any of you guys are painters or artists, but I need something to go there. I'm very gradually decorating this apartment. I'm happy that the plants didn't die. I came back and they were actually well looked after, which was good because I thought they were gonna be dead. But I bought this little thing, a little funky composition. I have no idea what this is, but I felt like it just deserved to be purchased and placed up here. Looks cool. It's cool. It's just the all observing God. Zeus, Poseidon, whoever. Funky little rocks. We have one over here as well. I need to add a couple things to it. This cool little chess board, which was gifted to me from Farfetch. All I need to do now is learn how to play chess and the infamous Rose Quartz. If you know, you know. <laughs> Quite clearly in the habit of not cooking my own meals. I may go back to it eventually, but it's so time consuming. Every time I make an omelet, I always make such a mess. Let's have a look what's in here. Load of polystyrene. Now this is finally my supplement package from Bionic. I did a blood test when I was in London. Much needed blood test, hadn't done one for three, three months. I was overdue and I've actually run out of supplements as well. Whoa! So uh, I'll very briefly go through my blood test. I won't go into too much detail because we'll be here all day. Some things which was quite interesting. My MCH is high. Corp, corp, mean corpuscular, mean corpuscular hemoglobin is high. Not good. What else? Copper. I have a problem with copper. It, it is consistently low. So I need to address why the hell my copper is always so low. I, I think I'm just terrible at absorbing it. 
So I'm speaking to the nutritionist late this evening. I'll try and figure out why. Vitamin B9 below optimal, B12 below optimal. But hopefully with this, taking it twice a day, we should be sorting that out. Mm. Mm. I should have asked for the pill form. You can get it in pill form, but I had to keep getting it in granules. Bit me. Oh my God, it's going dry. Should we go to the gym? I think we should go to the gym. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Rolls Royce. The Jaguar. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. The back over there. I've never seen that before. It's like a Maybach SUV. <laughs> That's, it's a newer model, but it sounds like a head, right? No the model sounds like my model. <laughs> By the way, I, I did not leave it in the basement all summer. First of all, it would have been covered in dust and would have been extremely damaging for the car and the battery would have been dead. I actually left it at a storage facility called Park Firm, which is very good. They looked after it like it was their own. So if anyone needs to put any of their vehicles in storage and they live in Dubai, Park Firm is the place to go to. I'm still loving the car, by the way. I was potentially thinking about upgrading, but I was thinking about it, and to upgrade to a like a supercar, I don't think it would provide me with a huge amount of value and happiness at this stage. I think there's other things which I should be spending my money on. And especially now, with inflation going up, recession, it's a good opportunity to actually get some assets at a cheaper price. So my focus is stack up cash, start buying some assets. I thought about potentially buying some property in Dubai, but I don't think that's a very smart idea, particularly at the moment. I think the prices are about to drop quite drastically in the next year. From what I've heard, but I'm no expert, I don't know what the hell's going on with the property in Dubai. Because the mad thing about Dubai property is, they keep increasing the supply, they're always building new places, but then they keep putting the prices up as well. It's not making sense. So there is, there's gonna be a crash at some point. So uh, maybe in a year's time, I'll look at buying something here. For now, I'll just stay renting. Might just buy myself a couple of watches. We've arrived. First things first, we've got the cabinet of destiny. We have two choices. We have the coconut and we have Mr. Sam from and Halligans, I think we're gonna wear that today. It's a little bit fiery, spicy, but that is the mood that I'm in. Let's go. Every time I come back here, they've, they've made some new crazy addition, like they've made like a brand new room or a whole new floor. So let's go see what they've done this time. There's like 10 different supplement shops inside of this gym. <laughs> I just want some water. Oh, I figured it out now. You just have some pre-workout and stand there and try and hold the camera as steady as possible. What's the most? There we go. <laughs> Two of these for Chris. <laughs> What's the great today? I did legs yesterday and they're absolutely ruined. Oh, by the way, the last video I did was a leg session with Dorian Yates. My legs were absolutely destroyed for five days after that. M mainly the quads. It took me a, pretty much a week until I was ready to go again. And it wasn't a crazy amount of volume, it was just... Please everywhere! Can I wear this when I work out? Yeah, yeah. For workout or your body? Workout, beach, okay. just chilling at home. So you want to buy this? <laughs> I finally came! Yes. Nice to meet you. So, so, you the so <laughs> am I on the screen? Yeah, y'all think I'm on the screen. When did this open? I told you, I asked you to come to the open. She keeps telling me to come every day. <clears throat> is this you? <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> yes! Yeah. You get to see that every day. Every, every day, morning, speed, every night. <laughs> lifting weights. <laughs> Hey, never gets boring that. <laughs> the owner of the gym's actually over there. Mr. Benus. He's the mastermind behind all of this. Hey yes. bro, how you doing? Good. Good. Thank Long you. time no Welcome see. Back. Yeah. I love it. I love everything you've done. <laughs> of course. Are you going to do anything else? Are you going to make another? No, no, we haven't. 
You are probably come back and say something. Else. Yeah. Yeah. No stop. What's What's the plan next? You're gonna do anything else? Now we will to open uh, healthy food. Uh, be no salad bar. Yeah. We'll get some food and check out the salad bar later. That guy's absolutely smashed it. I remember when I first came here, 2019. The gym was literally just. It was just that area. Then they had a little outdoor area, and then they turned it into like a leg area. They joined it, and now it's just one massive gym. Yo, you good? good? Yes, I'm fine. Excuse me? I'm famous in Snapchat in French. Yeah? You, know? you want me to say some French? Yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour, je m'appelle Michel. Non, mais c'est pas ça. Pas ça, pas mes pieds comme ça. Faut que tu vas un peu devant. Have a good session, whatever you do. I'm, I'm starting now. Oh. Just a big Grammy. <laughs> Who wants to see me train with Big Ramy? Leave a comment below. I'll get some serious body dysmorphia if I train with him. Should we get started with some training? Oh, there's Larry in the building as well. I thought he came off the gear, he looks absolutely massive still. Come on! Good job, good job. Big, big. So the past couple of weeks, I've been running one of the new programs on my app. First app, I'll show you what it is. It's one I brought out just over a month ago. The Summer Shred program, Bosch, Bosch. So I put this together, basically it's a push, pull, legs, rest, and then we've got a push strength, pull strength, and then in between you've got a bit of hit and list. So this has been doing me good for the past couple of weeks. I'm probably gonna stay on it for one more week. I'm gonna change up the program yeah, in a few days time. I'm gonna sit down and think about what my goals are currently. The traveling obviously has not been great for my training, but I've done all right. I think this time round over the summer, a lot less drinking, sleep was a lot better, nutrition was pretty damn good. So we'll see. Great session, good to be back. What a gym, very motivating. <laughs> no, but it's weird because I go in there, like I genuinely feel quite small in there. It's one of the few gyms that I go to where I feel like, oh, okay, there's, there's a lot of guys who are bigger than me. And it's good, it's quite humbling, but obviously you can't let that screw with your head because Compared to the average Joe, I'm a pretty large specimen. I'm just not quite at the same level as some of the monsters in there. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and see if I can make a big Rami collab happen. I haven't actually seen him collab with anyone. And I don't really know how it would go down because I don't think his English is very good. <laughs> there wouldn't be much talking. Anyway, let me see if I can make it happen. Now, we're gonna go to the mall because I need to buy some equipment for some filming. noise of all time. You know some people get in my car and they're just oblivious to it. I'm like, how could you be oblivious to that? It's not your fault, Chris. Well, actually it is, because as soon as you got in the car, you should put your seatbelt on. It's great for. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the mall, get some equipment, which I'll show you when I get to the mall. See you there. We're gonna have to switch the cameras now. We're not allowed to film in malls. They're like, they're really against filming with professional cameras in malls. So we're just gonna switch over to iPhone to apologize for the quality and the crappy audio. We are going to Sony, because I need to pick up a new lens, because I want to start filming these videos where I'm basically just sat at home talking to the camera. And the one I've got at the moment isn't really good enough. Obviously, it's very competitive out there, so I need to make sure that the production quality is on point. And then I'm gonna get some lights as well because filming in the dark, need some good lighting. And I feel like at a night time, that's when, you know, sometimes I just wanna make a video at night. If I haven't got the lights, then I can't really do it. Ain't that right, Chris? Yep. And the sun goes down at six in Dubai. Yeah, even, yeah, sometimes it's, it's, it's getting dark by like 5.30, so it kind of really reduces the window which you can film in daylight. By the way, everybody who asks me what equipment I use, I don't have a clue. So this is the man, what, what are you filming with at the moment when you're shooting my videos? Sony A7S III as my main camera and Sony G Master lenses. Oh, 
And you edit, what do you edit, what software? Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and I use a MacBook 16 inch, the newest one. Nice. Especially in this day and age, if you are trying to be a content creator or you're trying to spruce up your Instagram, whatever it might be, you don't necessarily need the best quality equipment in terms of like camera, micro and everything. You can get away with just having a good phone, making TikTok videos and stuff. Although I would recommend actually having the latest phone. I know some people like try to grow the social media and they're still using like an iPhone 7. I'm like, come on mate, like, invest in some hardware. But for those people who are starting out on YouTube, or maybe they do want to improve the quality of the videos which they're putting out there because the visual and the sound is quite important, then I recommend you do invest in some equipment. You don't have to go all out, you don't have to go crazy. But I recommend getting something maybe more than an iPhone. Oh, here we are. It's the lens, honey. Yep, the filming at home, right? Looking for lens. Focus, focus. <laughs> I think we've found a winner. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You can't wait to just basically not use it for another two months. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is just need to fix the lighting. And then I can just chat absolute nonsense all night long. There is a lot of white buses. That's because there's a lot of workers. There's literally a brand new tower going up next to me called Levy. Then on the other side is a brand new tower called Five. You know, a lot of you probably know Five Hotel. So I can't imagine how many thousand workers are actually cracking on with them. I literally have so much respect for them. Imagine working like this isn't even the worst but imagine in like july and august just working in that heat and the humidity wearing your trousers and your shirt oh. so back at the casa just got a couple of things i would like to say to everybody who has purchased some thirst items over the past couple well from the dawn of time from whenever the company started this summer has been the best summer yet I've been turning over well like 40, 50,000 pound each month, which is pretty damn good. And also, I don't think I've even mentioned this on a vlog. The bikinis are out, finally. So not that it would excite a lot of the viewers who are men watching this, but any females that are watching this, or maybe your girl, your partner, is uh, in need of some swimwear, then get them involved. Imagine you could be standing there wearing the green ones, and your girl could also be there with a sexy bikini, in exactly the same color. How cool is that, right? Lots of exciting things planned. And to be honest, actually, I need to expand the team because I have a lot of things going on at the moment with my life, other commitments, and I don't want to kind of neglect this because it has a lot of potential. So I think I'm looking for somebody who's gonna be like the head of operations, just ensuring that the business is running as smoothly as possible and to almost be the person that can help grow it and expand it. So, if any of you, or you know somebody who has experience working in a clothing company, big clothing company, retail, whatever it might be, then drop me an email because I need you. And then also, a quick note, I think we've actually, as soon as I launched these, they sold out in a couple of days. So there's gonna be a restock in two weeks of these, a restock of the white ones, a restock of these as well. But everything else has pretty much been restocked as well as the, let me get it out. Oh, this is back in stock as well. I know a lot of people were asking for the sexy man bag. It's back. So get it while you can. Uh, I think that's the end of the vlog. I, I know it's not been that exciting, but I had to make something just to let you know that I'm alive and I'm back in business, back with Chris. So back to regular videos, lots of exciting things planned. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.